Update 42 is almost here in Bloom City 6, and yours truly has early access. I may or may not have paid Ninja Kiwi a large sum of money to be a part of this, but I thought the best way to showcase it, because we always get a lot of cool stuff, is to play chimps on the brand new map. But first, we have to use Geraldo's new skin, which I love. I think that is way cooler than this skin. Not that there's anything wrong with this skin, but this skin is just like, it fits so much better. He looks awesome. He's like one of those like 1800s people, right? We also get some new quests with this update, and this one I'm actually really excited for, phase one. We have to try that once this pops out. But this is why we're here. We are going to try the brand new map, Castle Revenge, on Chimps mode with the new Geraldo skin, Tinkerer Geraldo. Gentle Monkey Gadgeteer Geraldo. Okay, I was way off with Tinker Tier, whatever I was calling it. But I want to test out Chimps and see if it's possible. This is an advanced map. I thought that this was an, a continuation of the lore going on where we have Ravine is the front of Dark Castle. Dark Dungeons is inside Dark Castle. And so I figured Castle Revenge would be the top of Dark Castle. But it's moving. It's leaving. So then I'm thinking like maybe it was just fed up. It was just over it. It was tired of losing to the balloon. So it just got on its little trolley and dipped out. But now, how are we going to fight this? I think the balloons are just going to... Oh, they're just like... They get like shrunken down, popped out of here, circle around here, and then just leave. They just leave the map. So we have to find something. This would be really solid, but you're going to have to have two. So a sniper would be good. Or can he see both sides? Probably not. So what about a strong tower right here that just hits everybody? I think this is solid. So it doesn't take up your spot from your tax shooter if you want to get one. And it kind of cleans it up. It, it's not strong enough. So we'd have to have something else. How about here? Can we put something there? We got to find the little nuances because I'm assuming like a sniper is going to be blocked here, but here you have like free access. So that's actually a good idea. We'll go with a, a dart here, but I'm thinking there. I just want to save this in case I want to get some tax, but let's just get two tax. How about that? And we'll buy a sniper as soon as we can. Can you get it? Can you get it? No, you can't get that either. <laughs> oh my goodness. So here's how we're going to play this. We're just going to put a dart here right in the opening, and then we're going to put a sniper on strong is this gonna work guys i think this will work sniper dart is always a good start until it's not what are we gonna even this is an advanced map and i can't even figure this out can you put stuff on the ground or no like what about a flying tower because you'd imagine like it doesn't really matter if a helicopter is on the ground right if it's gonna well it could be ran over you don't want that how about ice it should take out at least that one side, right? Or no? Why do my balloons have beards on them? I'm loving all this, let me tell you. It just reminded me too that the balloons also have the nightcap feature in this update. We got to try that, the sleepy balloons, because you know why? We're putting them to sleep. No more balloons after we're done with them. So now how about... No, why would a boomer work? Okay, this is just getting out of hand. We're just going to put the darts where they need to go. Right here, right there. And then we're going to put another one that can do both sides. Like right there. We'll put them on strong. I think this is a great start. It'll get it done. And there we go. That's what we have to do here. And make sure auto start is off so we can think about each round because this is kind of crazy. But I actually like this though. This is actually pretty good. All right. The steam is throwing me off, but we're almost there. And then I think what we'll do is we'll just buy a sniper and then that will just guarantee safety for the rest of it. Oh yeah, this is easy. Why didn't we think of this to begin with? Like, I just wanted to be kind of clever with it, but why not? Three dart start. It rhymes. It sounds great. It always works. And we're going to grab a sniper for Karen. There we go. There's our snipes. Wesley Snipes is right here ready to party. He's on strong. He's ready to do his thing. I really like this though. Look at, they're like literally on the ground running up to destroy us and they can fit through the gears. So what, how are we popping them with basic darts if they can smash themselves through gears and be completely and utterly fine? And we're going to lose. So maybe the sniper needs to be on first just in case. And then even that's too much, huh? Oof, oof. Can you get those? Buddy, maybe? No, these red ones are too much. So we got to put... An no, I'm not putting another dart. Like, we're not doing that. So what we'll do is we'll keep him on strong. And then we'll switch him to first last second, like when we need to. Because I think that's the best way to handle this. There we go. That's easy stuff. Put him back on strong. Get rid of the crazy ones. And then there you go. You just have to do a little bit of maneuvering. It is an advanced map, so you can't have it all for free, you know? Now, 10 is going to be a little bit overwhelming, so I'm wondering if we just get, like, triple darts, triple dart, triple dart shots, triple shot darts, but I don't think that's the plan either. Uh, what I'd like to do is get a tower that can reach both sides here, but that's not going to fly. So I think a sniper with, like, faster firing and then get to, like, a middle path sniper? I honestly think Beast Handler with Paukai is going to be, like, the savior here if we can get to that point. So what can help us get there in the meantime? A sub would be good, but he's going to be blocked on his range. 
So I am going to try this. I don't know if it's a good play, but we're going to try the sniper up to a 0-2-2. That's always a solid strat. And then maybe like two tacks, like I was saying, like just a, even a top path with a middle path or something just to like help take the balloons down for us, even the lead ones. That could be a pretty solid play here. Now, what I'm curious about is where is the range of the sniper? Can he hit them when they're down there? Like if I put them on last, I don't want to test that now because we're going to get overwhelmed. But I'm wondering, like, can you just start taking them in the back right there and then letting these guys clean up the front? That could be pretty beneficial to us. Oh, dude, I need Geraldo. Oh, my goodness. I totally forgot about my periwinkle friend over here. And we need that. And we're not now we can't get it because I want it. That's just how this game flies. Can I get even shrapnel shot or no? We'll just have to like build up for it, I guess. Oh, come on, come on. Okay, no, that's not going to work. So maybe we'll just put these guys on last. I say no, thank you. No, thank you. Okay, this time we're just going to go straight for Jerry Berry over here and see if he'll help out. Not the best spot for him, but he has cool hair. He really does have cool. I'm really digging this. Like this would be me as a balloon cd6 hero that or wolf quincy because i like to be wild sometimes but periwinkle jerry over here looks kind of fun and i believe there's hotkeys oh no way no way advanced hotkeys yes merge beast clear balloons clear towers tower panel inventory what the heck is that if i had to guess it's going to be jerry so we're gonna try it oh it is because look i have enough money for it if i well if i have enough money for it i can do this it's tower panel inventory one that's actually really oh and it changes his aesthetics of his little things too that is so cool so i can change them all to like all the hotkeys but how would you do that that just seems like a lot of work to be honest but very 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 cool and if you're going to be using jerry exclusively i just don't use him that much because i'm bad with him but imagine if you could just quickly use the little uh maelstrom ability he has to, to not have to like click into it because i've lost a lot of games because i had to dive into his shop so that is awesome now i think now that we have jerry berry we should go with the middle pass sniper like i was doing but i don't want to like regret that decision so i'm gonna just get this one and kind of go for it just everything gets overwhelming so quickly i mean we could glue with him right no we can't glue with him not yet we can only spike but we can use 55 dollars. but on chimps mode you don't make money so like every buck counts so i don't want to have to do that and, and then we're done we're done easily very easily done Oh my gosh, I didn't even see this at first. There are BFBs, Moabs, and ZOMGs in the ground. As you can see right there, that is really cool. Now it looks like the like shell of a BAD since that is a lot bigger than the rest of them. That is a very cool feature. So is this castle on our side? It is, right? And these are invading us. Yes, that makes sense. So the castle had enough and it moved. This is still a part of Dark Castle. It has to be. And we're going to figure out the best way to beat this. And that's why I started over again, just because I didn't like having to deal with that. I don't think Sniper is the best play early on. We're going to have to think of something else. And I don't like using Jerry Berry's little spikes just yet. I think that's a little cheating. You know, it's, it's chimps mode on impoppable or hard mode. Sure, have, have a blast. But for this, not so much. Now, there's two things I want to do here. I either want to get a ninja, because if I get him up to like Bloon Jitsu Ninja, it'll be powerhouse. Or a druid and then get my cool druid that I always do. But the problem with the druid is that I don't think that it'll actually do what I need it to do. And I'll just be wasting money here. But I'm going to try it. I think that's a solid plan here. Because he'll just pop some stuff every now and then. Boom, 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 boom. For round 14. Boom, boom, boom. He's actually doing a lot. And just getting him up to 1,000 costs so much money. And then you get this problem here. Okay, we got it though. We're good. Thorn Swarm. You got this, druid. If not, got to do it again. I like that his backpack's also like the same shade as the genie, so it looks like he was he wished himself to be cooler, and that's how he got to be this Jerry, right? I think that's what's going on here. And oh my god, the druid sucks too. Why is every tower so bad for this map? Every tower is terrible. It looks like we finally beat 15. There we go. Okay, so what I have to do here is just get these guys up. I think the tacks are the way to do it finally. Okay, now I don't have to buy weird things. I can just play the game normally. Oh yeah, I like it. So I think what I'll do with them is just get them up to a third tier top path. That means they can pop lead. They can pop everything that we need them to pop very, very simply. And then maybe, maybe, just maybe we can get by this stuff. Because I know that the top path fire is like really, really good. But I also need to get regular camo popping. So do I use Jerry's $215 or just buy this that I'm going to buy anyway? I'll just buy that. And what is going on with these balloon things? Oh my gosh. The second I think that I can upgrade, I get tossed. Just toss. That's this game. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go glue here, right? Right there. That should help. No, because it doesn't get the others. It only gets the one side. We have to do both. Let's try to see if we can buy this instead. 
I, I'm just I'm flabbergasted here. Let's try to get tax sprayer then and just forget about the other one because that'll at least clean up that side and then we can clean up this side, I think. Nope, we're done again. All right, finally got something. We got <laughs> six, seven dart monkeys here, <laughs> but it works, you know? So now we got this guy who can pop some stuff and we can give him some sharpening here and that will help out a little bit. Oh my goodness, this is as ugly as can be. But I was thinking juggernaut right here could be pretty nuts. Like every time those things come up, it's just gonna go everywhere. So I am I wanna lean towards that. Obviously can't go for it yet, but what I'm thinking we can do well, what are we gonna do about lead though, huh? We need to have something like a druid or something. Let's just do that for now. Put a druid here with his buddy. Now I'll admit this is disgusting, but I like it because both of these guys shoot down this way. But as soon as we get druid, our lives are like saved. That's why that's like the most OP tower in this entire game. Just because you get such a breath sigh of release once you just have that, right? Because now look it, now everything's gonna stop in its tracks and we just have to clean it up with a sniper. Now we're talking. And I think once we get this one, if we can get it, if we can get it, there we go. That'll help out a lot. I think that'll actually even take down the Moab because I am going to use that. I think that is so awesome. We're going to go down to here to advanced. Let's go to inventory spot number 10 and we'll hit A for that one. So now every time we hit A, we're going to have that cool little spike thing here. Oh yeah, that'll be so great for pop it. Oh, it's like a little cake or whatever that's called. And that'll be great for the Moab. That's going to be a insane. Oh dude, I'm really digging that. I really, really like that feature. Hotkeys for Geraldo shop has, how has that not been a thing, right? And then if we need to, right, we'll just do this. I have a reindeer mill. I haven't seen that in so long. All right, so we're going to take it open. Come on. Oh, do I not have enough or what's going on? What are you doing? What are you doing? Use the thing. That's what we're here for. It wasn't showing up. It's like a, it's like a little bugged or something. Do you have to click Jerry? Yeah, I guess you have to click Jerry. I mean, I guess that makes, it does, no, that doesn't make sense. If I hit my hotkey to A, that, I should be able to hit that thing every single time. Let me do it. But now we're going to do juggernaut because I think that'll be really cool right here. And we'll see what it does. Yeah, this is exactly what I thought it would do. Ultra Juggernaut will be stupid broken. I'm taking a risk by going for Ultra Juggernaut before the Elite Defender, because I just, I don't know. But I am going to be using this thing again, probably. Huh? It's probably not going to do enough. Is we going to do it? Are we going to do it? Okay, just do it. Just do it. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, but then we have another one. Oh, okay, there we go. Ultra Juggernaut. There we go. Now, that's pretty cool. And then when I was doing some math in my, oh, wow, that thing disintegrated. But do I regret my decision for going Ultra Juggernaut before the... Elite Defender, yes, one, 1 million percent. So we're gonna have to do this again, aren't we? Is that even gonna be enough? Dude, that thing's so overpowered. I've had to use like 12 of them, but it, I mean, it gets the job done. And there we go, there's our Elite Defender, finally. Now nothing can get past us. Between the Elite Defender and I'll just give him like a village and then he has Geraldo's little sharpening stone, which is I think is gonna be upgraded here pretty soon. We have a genie. It just with Geraldo, it's more rough, I guess is the right word for that. Everything just feels more, Ugh, like pushed like I like to have very safe and sound strategies you put a tower down you go boom and these make you have to like ugh, you know ugh, I don't know how else to explain it besides ugh. the ultra juggernaut is beautiful though it's hitting every spot on the track so technically it should be able to just destroy everything it's pretty good and I don't think I could boost him on I have to get like the the pickles so that's not good so there we go now we get the sharpening super stone there which is nice and then I think I want to alk buff him but at the same time like I don't because I'm I kind of want to save up for something here I just, Ultra Juggernaut was not the way to go. Let, let's be real about that. It worked, got the job done, not not the best. And I would like to go bottom path boomer. That's like my choice, but it would cost so much. And then like the Moab one is good, but it's not good enough to get you to $54,000. So it's kind of like ugh, a little bit in the air. And in my experience, you just end up chasing it rather than ever using it. But we can't even take down a ZOMG with this right now. Maybe that will be fun just to throw this down the middle. Just let it just do its thing, you know, just like that. Yeah, sure. That's cool. See, but now, now I just know that I wasted that money because he can't hit, he can't help with two ZOMGs. That was barely even one. All right, so I'm gonna drop down one of these guys. I thought the Alchemist would be enough to help, but it definitely isn't. So we'll just use the Genie until we can get enough to actually get the Moab well, Domination. I just knew going for that would be a little bit tough, but you know, we like to have some fun, try out something new. But I have noticed in this game, when you try something out new, you end up just doing what you normally do because it works out better. But I mean, that's cool. Look at this, Gene even has a cool little top hat too. I love this skin, that's a great skin. So it seems to be the case that if you use Geraldo, you kind of have to use Geraldo. Like you can't just place him and pop him like you do with like 90% of the heroes. Like it seems like you constantly need to like back him up. Now heavily dependent on your strat, but like I feel like I'm using his genies and his sharpening stones and i'm like completely relying on this stuff like i'm gonna have to use one of these maelstroms i'm pretty sure too but i i can't tell because you have to like be on his screen to use it so you're kind of just like in the dust about it can we do this on our own i don't know i just don't want to chance it let's just do it this way that's just the best way to get that done 
And then it's too much for us on that. Oh my goodness. This is where we went wrong the first time, not buying this to start. Now we're good for God knows how long of rounds. We are totally fine. I'm thinking about Paukai this time. The bird will just tear up everything. But so will Spirit of the Forest. I just don't want to like always use Spirit of the Forest for everything, but who knows, right? And unfortunately, even though it's a max fourth tier Paukai, he can't touch the ZOMG. So we have to wait till they de destroyed open and then we get the regular BFB action. But I don't think we can take down these ZDTs. No chance, huh? Mm -mm. So I really wanted to make Geraldo work because his new skin's awesome. But what do I tell you always is great. Sada, best hero in the game. Spirit of the Forest and a Sniper are a great combo. And then I paired it with Carpet of Spikes because I'm not gonna lie, I was having a lot of trouble with this map. Beating this on chimps was no easy task. And I don't even think this is gonna work right now either. We're probably gonna need something like a, like shattering shells or something along those lines. Cause this is not gonna cut it. But Carpet of Spikes, I should use more cause that thing is awesome. It does a lot of damage. Like I know it does a lot of damage, but it's doing a lot of damage. And then it just tears everything up and paired with spirit. They're like meant to be together. They're like long lost lovers because this is insane how much damage they do together. This is so cool. Now 99 is probably going to be a little tough, but I could honestly just use this and call it a day. Like if I need to, I can use carpet of spikes, but I, will I even need to? I'm not kidding. I had a lot of trouble with this. And then I found this like at the very last second. For $5,500, it makes this pressure valve which shoots stuff out, which I'm pretty sure, if I had to guess, like kind of stops things from going that direction. I want to see if it does it, but I don't think we're going to make it that far. I'll try it. I'll just do it. It does something, but you're going to have to let me know below what that is because we finally beat it. But that's the new update, new map, new skin. Couldn't get into the accolades, but we're definitely going to. And be sure to be looking out when the update actually officially drops because I'll be live streaming. You guys can join me there. And if you haven't yet, check out this video where we take on round 126 with only one tower. Is it even possible?